encourage bone. The bone here is referring to a mechanism where the force can be transferred between the concrete and reinforcement bar effectively. The steel bar embedded in concrete subjected to direct tensile force must be firmly encouraged so that it is not being pulled out of the concrete. The bar subjected to the force which is induced by the flexural load must be similarly encouraged in order to develop their design stress within the steel bar. The encourage is dependence on the bond between the bar and the concrete, which is normally affected by the area of contact surface area between the concrete and the steel, as well as the locations of the steel bar, whether it is in the good or poor bond conditions. Let us look into the fundamental principle in order to determine the required anchorage length within the concrete. To do so, we need to adopt the principle of static equilibrium to determine the required anchorage length. It is assumed that the anchorage force will be equal to the tensile pullout force of the steel bar. The anchorage force acting on the steel bar is determined by the contact surface area of the steel bar multiplied with the bone stress of the steel bar. The contact surface area is calculated by multiplying the perimeter of the steel bar with the anchorage length of the steel bar. Assuming the steel bar is circular in terms of the cross-sectional area, this equation is applied. The bone stress will need to be determined from Eurocode, which is going to be discussed in the following videos. For simplicity in terms of the comprehensions, we shall skip the details to determine the bone stress for the time being. Next, we determine the tensile pull-out force of the steel bar. It is considered equivalent to the capacity of the steel bar, which is calculated by multiplying the effective cross-sectional area of the steel bar and the design tensile stress of the steel bar. The cross-section area of the steel bar, which is circular, is given in this equation. And the design tensile stress of the steel bar is calculated by dividing the characteristic U strength divided by partial factor of safety of the steel, which is equal to 1.15. Reorganize the equation here, you will obtain the basic equations for the anchorage length as given here.